And yes, I'm heading to Primark. Okay then, let's go shopping. Okay, this is happening. Um, I'm looking a little glowy and there may be a little bit of wax left, but I just have fresh brow wax and lash lift. So um, I still have a little bit of a tired eye situation, but my eyes are feeling a lot more pampered now. Thank you very much. Um, fabulous uh, lash girl. I did tell you last vlog, Katie, she, um, contacted me as soon as we knew there was going to be a lockdown from this Thursday and said because my appointment was on Thursday any chance you want to come in earlier yes I did and I managed to get in this morning so Tuesday morning I'm off work up early got my lashes and brows revitalized and now I am heading to the town so um what are we doing something that please don't hate me I have not been to this shop since, I don't know if it was January this year or December last year, so the whole of lockdown, um, oh my brakes again, <laughs> the whole of lockdown and then even after they've opened up I've not been and now they're closing again so I am going and yes, I'm heading to Primark. So. I've been living the life of the legging um, for a long time now. This year especially, I don't think I'm alone. Leggings are our friend and might not come to the point where they have a few holes where they shouldn't have holes. So Primark leggings, anybody in the UK probably knows, they are a godsend. You can use them for so much. Um, for, for comfort and ease. You can dress them up, dress them down and just know that you haven't spent a lot of money. Thank you Primark. So they, gosh the last time I went were probably about £1.50, £2, not sure how much they are now but that is my plan to go and refresh my legging situation. I do wear them for work, yes I am that casual and I do wear them like I have them on now. I have many pairs but I have many pairs that are now going to go into the trash. Hopefully I'm going to be able to refresh my legging collection <laughs> and see what else is there possibly some new pyjamas because we all know Primark pyjamas are the stuff of, I was going to say dreams, that'd be actually right wouldn't it because we do sleep in them. So hopefully some new pyjamas because um, here in the UK we've had new lockdown dates provided and I think it's still December 2nd or 4th, I definitely don't remember because I just thought I don't know if it's even going to reopen. I want to think that they are going to all reopen before Christmas, but I'm not holding my breath for anything. Um, I was planning in about a month or so's time to do a little try on haul. However, um, I've not really been going to the gym this past month. I think I've been twice in the past month because of work commitments and life. It just wasn't really um, as easy for me to get there. And now of course, gyms are closing. So, yeah, weight gain and Millie, we go together like <laughs> cake and cream. I don't know. <laughs> so little Primark haul, I think, is needed for um, my mental well-being and necessity of uh, work outfits. <laughs> and I think hopefully if it's not too busy in there as we've got like only a day more until actual lockdown if it's not too busy I would like to pop also into Lush and get a few little goodies that I know I will miss if they don't open again before Christmas um, so that's the plan Primark and Lush let's head there no that's not right see you on the flip side Okay, so I 
have parked in a multi-storey at the shopping centre and I just realised that this is the first time that this car has ever been in here before so I got a bit carried away going all the way up um, because I was getting footage and just thinking I'm inside a car park and probably the first and last time in a very long time but we are here and we're going to try to shop I'll see you on the flip side Okay then, uh, a bit noisier out here. Mask is on, uh, reusable bag, although I think I do want to get a Primark bag just for the aesthetic. Um, feeling a little bit tired eyes, even though I feel fresh from my lashes, but let's do this. Oh no, those wrinkles are bad. Let's do this.
that then I am done it's definitely windy and rainy now to head out oh I can even see my breath um two hours in fact less than two hours um and that's with queuing and two shops two hours I'm done I think I'm ready for a Starbucks <laughs> I'm not gonna lie so of course we have uh, and slightly larger but actually cost less <laughs> so um talk you through probably what I've got, some bits and pieces. I didn't get that much footage inside of course with the mask, I can't really talk and music and with people queuing to go in and out I didn't want to be taking up so much time um, just wandering around videoing whilst people are waiting to come and do their mad shop. But I got what I needed, leggings, vests, t-shirts and pyjamas. Always need those pyjamas but um, for now, see you in Starbucks. No. See you on the flip side. In the car then, a little less windy here, um, but I do sanitize whenever the shops offer it. But of course, I always have some uh, sanitizer in my car. I didn't actually take a handbag into the town with me. I've been trying to go out and about without a bag uh, through these strange times, which if anyone's been around for a while, you know, I normally have a large bag with everything in it. So I've got past that point of, oh my gosh, I have to have everything in a bag with me and I'm managing. Everything's Apple Pay contactless and my car key is just in my pocket. So that's that, nice and easy. So um, I've been sporting my little Primark gloves from last year. I bought these just before we went to the uh, the Christmas, uh, I don't know what it was, Christmas fair, uh, with my niece Emily last year. Normally you get a couple of pairs for a pound in Primark or about one pound 50, but I like fingerless gloves just for accessibility, sort of in the car, um, on your phone vlogging and they didn't have any that's the one thing that I could not find there's a lot of 90s looking clothes and a lot of party clothes that I think I would not be using even if I did have the body of my dreams because it's not really happening right now um so not really a shopping spree but essentials and that's fine with me um, I much prefer this lighting than outside because I've noticed uh, a lot of uh, wrinkling going on here <laughs> just lately. I think I need to restart my um, Estee Lauder regime to uh, give myself that youthful glow back if there's ever such a thing when you're heading towards your next milestone. But for now, see you on the flip side. then home sweet home or mum's house sweet mum's house as I have come to uh, show her my mini haul. So um, I won't be trying everything on as it is just the basics kind of things that you normally see me in but it was necessary to get a refresh so I've laid them all out and I'm going to show you exactly what I got and almost didn't get. See you on the flip side. First things first, I think um, pyjamas from Primark are the necessary and what I did here was got some long friends joggers which are nice and soft and will be very warm and then some friends short pyjamas because to be quite honest I live in short pyjamas so I thought I could just wear this top with these and then I didn't get a thicker top to go with them so I've got one top to alternate with the two short and long bottoms. I'm a big fan of vests from Primark. I normally wear um, black, <laughs> but I do have a few colours. But as they had these lighter colours, although it's not really the right season, I thought at two five, two, oop, two pound fifty a pop, I thought I would grab those as well. Yes, there's no point trying to deny it. I am definitely a large. Um, but two pound fifty, you can't say no at. I did say I was going for leggings, and I've got here some leggings that are three pound. Three pound on a hanger means they are extra long length and then if you want the two pound fifty leggings <laughs> they're just long I guess <laughs> so I went for both styles there the third pair of leggings that I picked up were five pound a little bit steeper um, but these are the cozy fit so they're nice and soft with a bit of uh, warmth on the inside so let's have a little look so 
bit more fluffy and a bit softer on the inside. Did get a couple of t-shirts. I went for extra large, so hopefully they'll be a little bit baggy or loose. And I thought this one was quite ironic. Two pound fifty for live in the moment and leave the phone. Hmm, when do I ever do that? And then another t-shirt that is just about right for me at the moment. Stress doesn't really go with my outfit. Stress is the only outfit I have at the moment for anyone that knows me. And then lastly, I got a couple of beanies. Uh, I do like to keep my head warm, especially out for all these walks. Um, going to be more walks during lockdown, I imagine. And at £1.50 and made from recyclable, uh, recycled material, I couldn't say no. Nice and soft once again. And these particular ones aren't too long. So you can uh, fold them up and they just sit on your head nice. So it's like the wind doesn't blow through that, that whole top bit that makes you... Um, I don't know what they're called. Uh, <laughs> look like a fool, I guess. So one final thing that I bought was a pair of gloves, well, two pairs of gloves uh, for a pound. And there were two pairs of gloves on there when I handed them to the cashier. However, I've just taken them out of the bag and there's only one and a half pairs. So thanks for that Primark. I wasn't really watching as she was rushing. And of course there's a queue and it's a queue to get in and out. So I'm not be going back there and saying, can I have my other glove please? But yeah, not really happy, but for a pound, I shouldn't really moan either. So uh, that was it. I did buy one thing for my mum, a couple of masks that were £2.50. Um, but all in all, my bill looks like carnage there. It just came to £58. So for a refresh of the basics, you know, leggings, pyjamas, vests and t-shirts, not a bad little haul. Thanks Primark, it's been about 10 months and it'll probably be about 10 months until I see you again. Okay then, final few treats there from Lush. Of course, I've talked about these um, toner waters quite a lot, this particular one with tea tree, as I am starting to get a bit of maskne and I want to keep my face nice and fresh. Christmas vibe with the eggnog body milk. Never had it before, but I could not resist. I do love a bit of eggnog at Christmas and why not uh, smell like a dessert at the same time. This was limited edition and I couldn't leave it on the shelf. I've got nowhere to party right now, but I think 2021 is going to want an extra bit of uh, sparkle in it. And why not do that with some pink fairy dust? It does soften your skin at the same time as make you uh, glittery. And of course, my favourite. You know that I got some extra sprays of this last year because it only comes out at Christmas. This time I've gone for body conditioner, so um, kind of like a shower gel, um, I want to say putty, like it's um, quite thick, but it just smells divine. So wherever you get Snow Fairy in, of course it smells the same. I wish you could smell through the screen right now because it is delicious one not to be missed. Little Christmas treat here, Rudolph Snows. I've never had a shower bomb. I'm quite excited to find out what happens here. It has got quite a warm smell to it. Um, it's got a Christmassy vibe, not just because it's Rudolph Snows, but because of the uh, the warm aroma. And uh, this is a product, uh, I actually just got a whiff of it when I moved the pot. It is, um, oh, it smells edible. I've said this before, actually, sorry, Jolie, but I think my cuticles need a bit of a, um, dip into this <laughs> sometime oh yeah smell that lemon fresh smell ready for um well i won't be getting my nails redone because of course lockdown is now looming but i will be keeping my nails nice and neat ready for uh, whenever you guys reopen again but last but not least um who could resist a peach so um, life might not be peachy right now, but it doesn't mean we can't have some fun in it. So I've gone for the peach bath bomb. So that was it. A little bit of a, a treat from Lush there. Nothing too extravagant. Once again, just the essentials, but a little Christmas flair as well. Okay then, uh, that was my little shopping adventure. First and last probably of 2020, let's face it. But uh, yeah, parked up back in my drive now, ready to uh, unload my things and uh, remove some tags because I don't think there's anything that's going to be uh, taken back. Um, it's 
pretty gloomy outside uh, but it has stopped raining for a moment which is a good thing because my lashes of course I had the LVL I will insert a picture but you can't get them wet for 24 hours it's a bit like a perm back in the 80s um, or now if you have them sorry about that <laughs> but yeah you can't get them wet for 24 hours so um, loving the look loving having uh, nice waxed brows as well although going nowhere doing nothing it's still nice to feel feel nice I guess um especially with the mask you know the only thing that people see is your eyes and as mine are looking a lot more wrinkled with bigger bags than ever it's nice to have something a little um poppy <laughs> to brighten them up let's say I hope this vlog has brightened you up a little bit we won't be going shopping uh, for a while here in the UK I'm sure things are going to get better at some point but who knows when. In the meantime please stay home if you can, stay safe of course wash your hands, uh, keep your face coverings on, um, social distancing is key. I have just popped to my mum for of course um, she lives alone, I live alone, we've been doing that the whole time of course for the first five months or so I was outside in the garden or out on a separated walk then the past few months we've got a little bit more um not close together but i've stepped in the house and it's just starting again so i won't be doing that perhaps as much from now but um on a positive note i've been shopping i've spent money that i don't have of course that's a positive note <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the vlog and see some things that you like. Uh, let me know if you shop at Primark or Lush. Um, what are your favourite products? And do you go crazy when Snow Fairy comes out at this time of year? Um, yes, I just want a bit of dust to go up there. And I have actually dusted my car. It's just always dusty. <laughs> On that note, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you so much. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I shall see you on the flip side.